So hi guys, welcome back. Today we'll be looking at GameStop stock uh, and why this stock is up 90% in one day and more than 2000% up over the last year. Uh, if you do enjoy, consider subscribing or liking the video. We're very, very close to 100 subscribers. It's free and it helps me out a ton. If not, thanks for watching uh, anyway, onto the video. So before we begin, just a little bit about GameStop. Uh, GameStop is an electronics and gaming merchandiser and it operates internationally with more than 5,500 stores across the world in Canada, Australia, New Zealand and countries all over Europe as well. Uh, it operates as a retail company over the past two days, uh, past two decades and because of this and the rise of e-commerce, uh, their sales have taken massive hits as they keep losing market share to companies such as Amazon or eBay. But recently the stock price has been trending higher as it has been throughout 2020 as they reinvent their company company as a e-commerce gaming company. Um, throughout 2020, they closed underperforming stores and invested very, very heavily into e-commerce. And that was met, uh, met well by the public shooting the stock uh, more than 550% over the past year. And then over the uh, first two weeks of 2021, the stock is more than 600% up again. So what has recently happened to GameStop stock? Um, the first thing that's happened, and that started uh, late December, was that their e-commerce e uh, part of their business was gaining some good traction as they had an increase of e-commerce sales in the holiday. And one of their largest uh, investors, RC Ventures, had increased their share to the company and added three of their own board of directors to the company to aid the company in e-commerce, online marketing, finance, and strategic planning. And they will continue to serve uh, on GameStop's board until, the, uh, until June. And then, of course, there were the short sellers. This is the uh, so previous were the good news that originally uh, put the stock price up. And then what's put the stock at the next thousand, uh, two thousand percent up is the short sellers. So a lot of people have seen game stocks, uh, the GME stocks rise on the market. Um, and uh, because of that, they decided to short sell. Uh, if you don't know what short selling is, it's basically buying a stock at a higher price. Uh, because of a large uh, like jump in price, you uh, sell the stock up at, let's say, $32, uh, wait for the stock to come back down and then buy the stock at $28, and then you'll be making a profit of $4 per share. So basically, a lot of large multinational firms decided to short sell the stock and then there were the trolls so what happened was that this plan was posted on reddit and what happens hundreds and thousands of people just came in uh flocked the market and kept buying gamestop stock uh this caused the stock price to increase uh, and a lot of multinational brokers lost money from that and at the same time many of the people could also uh, increase as the stock price increase uh could profit as the stock price increases so as the stock price increased, more short sellers came to the market, which increased the price. Then more buyers came to the market, which increased the price again. And then more short sellers came to the market. And this whole thing kind of uh, snowballed up, pushing the stock more than 600% over the last two weeks. Um, yesterday, GameStop stock usually sees around 7 million shares changing hands on day. But uh, yesterday, more than 197 million shares uh, were uh, exchanged in hands. And the company has 47 million shares available trading on the public market. And out of that, 71 million shares have been borrowed by short sellers. So short sellers, uh, the number of sales being, uh, the number of stocks being sold is uh, larger uh, than the number of stocks that's actually in the market. And that's a very, very bad move for a company, uh, especially people who own the stock as well. So this is the risk about why you should stay away from GameStop. So what I believe is similar to what's going to happen that happened to Volkswagen in 2008. Well, what's going to happen is that once the short sellers move away from the stock, uh, the stock price is going to crash. Similar happened to Volkswagen, where it became the most valuable company in the world for about a month uh, before the stock price crashed more than 63% the next month. And that similar story looks to occur today. And once again, as the short sellers move on, the company doesn't have the needed financials or the business model to maintain this growth, uh, let alone even keep the stock price as it is today. So GameStop has really, really struggled during the pandemic. Uh, prior to COVID-19, it hadn't been smooth sailing either. Um, the trend of cons uh, purchasing video games online increased and uh, in-person decreased. And the company had posted more than $470 million in net loss uh, and closed over 300 locations over the last year or so. Um, and the, like the margin call will also force many short sellers 
to lock in their trades at the worst possible times, creating the maximum losses for many people who have short sold the stock or own the stock as of right now. So if you do but own the stock as right now, either sell it off, uh, sell it off right now, take maximum profit as it seems like the stock price will crash in the very near future. The company's already been on its way down. It has been on its way down for more than five years. And this recent burst in stock price will soon pop. Um, and then the stock price will crash over the next uh, two to three months, in my opinion. So just some final words about this company. This company was targeted very, very heavily in the short uh, by short sellers. It was probably one of the most shorted stocks over the last two weeks. And in the new future, it looks very, very imminent that the stock prices crash. Uh, if you look at many other companies that have been targeted by short sellers, but at this rate, you could see that the stock price crashes very, very soon after the stock uh, uh, after the short sellers uh, leave. Although some good news has occurred during this time, such as their slightly bigger growth in e-commerce and some uh, bullish trends based on some analysts, uh, it doesn't mean that the current stock price is a buy as majority of the stock increase has been due to short sellers. So that's why I recommend staying away from GME uh, and don't buy GameStop stock. And if you do, in, uh, and if you have uh, bought GameStop uh, stock, uh, GameStop stock, then uh, consider yourself very, very lucky as you made a lot of good profit from it. But as always, do your own due diligence and thanks for watching. Bye.